What's going on guys, it's your boy Worm again, and we are back with a, another tutorial that I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, uh, I had a request on one of my previous videos to show my render settings for all of my shadow play videos. Uh, so yeah, here we go. So uh, what I have in here is an old, a very old Battlefield 4 clip that I was saving for some sort of, I don't know, it's just a clip that I, I would maybe use. And so, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what my render settings would be. So if I just wanted to throw this up there for you guys, 30 seconds, uh, my render settings, uh, and this is Sony Vegas Pro 12, just an FYI. Okay, so um, I'm, I used to use a custom template, and I'll show you guys that. Okay, so this 4.0 right here. Um, this is for uh, 1280 by 720. For some reason, I had 25 as the frame rate. I'm not really sure why I had that. And uh, right here, I have it to where it's uh, using the GPU to uh, to process or to render it. Uh, so the 3.0, this is what I use most of the time. This is uh, 1920 by 1080, and it's 30 FPS because of YouTube reasons. Uh, because if you render it out into 60, um, <clears throat> your rendered will be oh, it, well, it depends on what you recorded okay sorry I'm kinda stumbling over my words here okay so the latest shadow play you can record at, th at 30 FPS if you want that's what I've been doing I've been recording at 30 so that's why um, this 3.0 is what I've been using most of the time because I haven't set as 30 um, but in the past I've, I've I ran 60 and when you when you render it as 60 and then upload it to YouTube YouTube um, I don't know what you call it. These samples it. I don't, I'm not sure, but they they knock it down to 30 FPS, and so it makes your video really look like crap. So uh, yeah, and then there's the 1280 by 720. I'm not really sure. I would use uh, the um, 30, the 29 point. I'm not really sure why that is at 25, but <clears throat> I was trying to remember. But for some reason, I have been rendering on these two settings right here, just because they seem easy. Um, I'm not sure why because they don't even use the GPU. Um, so yeah, I, but yeah. So let me just go back down here. Forget about what I just said right then. I, I'm I'm derping so hard right now. This is my settings right here. So video format is AVC. I'm not really sure if that matters. Uh, high definition, 1920 by 1080. Um, high profile. I'm not even sure if this even matters to you guys. I use the 29.97. If if you're recording in Shadow Play, make sure you're recording in 30 FPS. If you're doing YouTube, if you're on Twitch, then do 60. Um, so there you go. Uh, I just use that. Leave that at none. Leave that at one. I do the highest bit rate possible. And this depends on your GPU. Uh, I have an NVIDIA uh, GTX 660, so I have a pretty good GPU to be able to render it out. And what this does, it's called GPU acceleration. Basically. Um, you'll render faster if you have a good GPU basically it's only using your GPU to render the video now you could do it if you want to use your CPU only but I don't think it'd be as fast um, so yeah GPU acceleration audio here uh, AAC high sample rate decently high bit rate I'm not really sure why that's not higher but that's fine it's it's all good stereo I wonder if I should do surround sound now that I'm looking at this I'm gonna go surround even though I don't know if it records into surround sound off of shadow play. Oh well, we'll try it out. Uh, format is MP4. And I don't think any of this matters to you guys. Okay. Well, I don't know what that was all about. Let's see what did I did I mess something up? Oh, okay, you can't do surround sound on that template. Okay, so that's what I would use. Um, and I'll show you guys something else. So that's my render settings. Now I've been asked a lot about my color, my color saturation, um, and how I do that. I just right click on a clip and I go up to Video Event Effects, and this is going to pop this up. I go to Sony Color Creator, and for me this was default already there. I'm not, I don't know. And then you hit Add and press OK. I'm not really sure if that's a default thing for everybody or what. And what is up with my Windows? Okay. Wow, my windows are all messed up here. Whatever. So this is going to pop up. It's probably not going to pop up into this window. Uh, I have it there just because I kind of like it there. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down. And my um, 
it depends on the game and how much color it has, but for Battlefield 4, I usually change the saturation. And the problem, though, is that I've already done this this video, so it's really going to look stupid, but I'll tell you guys what it is. So my saturation, I usually put at uh, 1.5. 1.5 gives it a nice color, but you got to be careful though because you don't want too much saturation because it'll really hurt your eyes and your viewer's eyes. So that's just how I do that. That's just random um, apart from the render settings. So that's my color settings, and that's how I do all of that. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and I'll see you guys later.